have genuinely watched porn. Like, not those over-exaggerated ones, but like those porns that will like teach you a few moves before you try it. I'm that kind of person. Okay, remove your blindfolds, guys. You, you remove our blindfolds. <laughs> oh, Don't look at me, my face might be ruined. That is bright. What are you addicted to? What am I addicted to? Mm. You have to be honest. What am I addicted to? Buying clothes. Yeah, like fashion head. Oh, Lord. Obsessed. Don't be them kind of guys that wear like expensive clothes on a bus though, please. No, 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 no. Tuck no, your no. coat in to just to show off a belt. Please. I can't deal with a front. I don't I don't own them nonsense belts that oh. probably ain't even real that you know, man's like wearing. It's them just... luchis. Them lu- <laughs> Please, so dead. <clears throat> no, I'm not buying that last. But yeah, I'm addicted to buying clothes, like. I'm addicted to Instagram. <laughs> Are you addicted to Instagram? I want them people that I would go on it before I even brush my teeth. Are you serious? I want them people that charge their phones to go to the toilet. Oh my gosh! Wait, so like you know when you go on Instagram, like what do you look at? Like what is it? My page is a catfish page, but I love posting funny stuff as well, so <laughs> yeah, I get a proper kick up. Oh my gosh! Yeah. My page is a catfish page. Imagine. Allow me. I got bare filters in it. I'm clever. I was smart about it. I always do the disclaimer though. I'm always a catfish. I always let them know I'm a catfish. Go right, into so, detail, cause all right. So if you I've saw watched me... Catfish the program. Oh uh, no, I'm not them kind of yeah, people. Yeah, no. Nah, right now, I'm thinking I don't want to turn around. <laughs> I'm about to put my blindfold back on and me well, walk out of it. Saw me in real life about makeup in the office, or if you compared to if you see me online, you might not recognize me. Oh my goodness. But you know what it is about that whole contour thing. What annoys me is that that fat fact that you just said that. You can see someone and see them the next day and they're totally different. They look totally different. I think I'm, it's weird. I'm two types of buff though, like, it's oh, all it's right. It's mad for you. <laughs> all right, so <laughs> I'm naturally decent looking. Makeup just enhances it, innit? But I'm, I'm not I hear that, lie. I'm not going swimming on my first date. I'll be honest, yeah, I don't, I don't like the whole makeup thing. I can live without it. No, I don't I'm like fine. it, I'm going to be honest. Guys can't put it on. They just have to be natural. Uh, see, you don't get fresh I mean? trims. That's not fair. What do you mean? You don't get fresh trims. A guy with a fresh trim that has a lickable face. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I'm so done. All right, cool. How often do you masturbate? Dirty blows. When I want to go to sleep. <laughs> if I can't sleep. I can come without touching myself though. Mm-mm. Why have them skilled it? It's called a um a spontaneous climax. I'm not like that woman that like comes 50 times in a day, but I could be sat on a train and get a sexual thought, cross my legs. I call it the lacrosse. So I can cross my legs and then I can come. It makes me tired though. But yeah. I could sat next to you watching porn. Come and you wouldn't even know because I didn't touch myself. <laughs> So we're back to back right now, isn't it? It's all kind of mad as physical <laughs> contact. <laughs> How often do you masturbate? Not that often, but I have knees in it. If I'm not getting it in, then I need to just release. The man do the thing in it. Come on now, like if we're all grown ups. You got that strong right arm, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm right handed, don't know what time it is. <laughs> I'm not shaking your hand later, yeah? I'm just letting you know. <laughs> this one's a bit deep. What would you do if you knew you were going to die in an hour? Call my dad. And just have a conversation with him. Yeah. I don't really speak to my dad. Why? Because some bad stuff happened. In a nutshell, you know what time it is. He cheated on my mum and it was just a really deep situation. You know, when you don't really have a real connection, but they're your parents, do you know what I mean? It's just kind of like, but yeah, I would never like to die or for someone to die without making a peace or that kind of thing. I'd rob a bank and give it to my mum. 
I actually started to plan that out in my head after I asked you the question. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna rob a bank or rob something quite easy and then just hand that money over to my mum. She's secure. Obviously she's gonna be balling because I'm gonna die, but I'm not gonna tell her I'm gonna die. Yeah, but what if what if what if you die now and then the police come around the yard? I'm dead in it. What are they gonna do? <laughs> I robbed the money, they're not gonna arrest my mum. <laughs> Smart, I thought that one through, guys. <laughs> I'd love to see you rob a bank, if I'm honest. I have to see you first, and then I'd love to see you rob a bank. You'd have to help me. <laughs> I'd be a bit useless. I'll be the getaway driver. <laughs> my mum, <clears throat> sorry, my mum's ill. So it'd be, obviously, I would be in a new way as well. Like, if now having some security, I've always wanted to be able to take care of my mum. So, obviously, like, in my last hour, I wouldn't want to leave the world knowing she's not got anything. Um, set. I've always kind of wanted to just be rich and look after her. Okay. Oh my gosh, now I'm just, just change up the subject. What's your secret to pleasing me in foreplay? Mm -mm. Yo, outtakes. <laughs> this is just mad. Wait, did you just say what I thought you said? <laughs> uh, I nearly missed that, y'all. No, nah, it's, I'm the sort of person that I will ask you what pleases you and then work on it as well i have genuinely watched porn like not those over exaggerated ones but like those porns that will like teach you a few moves before you try it i'm that kind of person i'm the best sort of person that will get a torch and prod around on your body just to find out what you like and what you dislike i can't believe i'm saying this wow <laughs> no letting go no <laughs> No, I'm done. Oh, um. What about you? Um, you know, I'm kind of the same. I'll be honest. I'm kind of like, I want to know what pleases you. I think there's too much misunderstanding in the bedroom sometimes. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yeah, I sing some. Um, <laughs> yeah, there's too much misunderstanding in the bedroom, I feel sometimes. It's about learning about relationships and what's healthy from what's not and what you're gonna be willing to perform. Like, there's people out there that are looking to suck toes. That's not my forte. Good. Safe word. Good. Safe word. <laughs> what would your ex think of, say about you? I'm an emotional person. Um, I always try and do the right thing. I'm honest, I'm loving. I'll always try my best to give it 100%. And I'm most definitely loyal. Now my ex would tell you I was crazy, goofy, um, but caring, and the sort of person that would put first sometimes. So it would be like, if I, if I would take care of you. I had trust issues with my ex, so it doesn't really count. <laughs> Flip six. Why did you have trust issues? He definitely cheated on me like eight times. Was you with him while he kept cheating? Did you know? Found out. While you was with him? Yeah. What number was he on? <laughs> no, not even a bad mind way, right, but... put it this way. He had a secret child during our relationship. You didn't know that? No. How'd that make you feel? And, so upset. It was like... And then he wanted me to meet the child, and then it was the child that told me the child's age. So then I realised... Then I did the maths, and I was like... Something right here. Like, raw, like, is my math off? Or so what's wrong with you? Jeez, man. Yeah, he was trying to make me step, mum. I wasn't having it. Jeez, so. man. Yeah, you can definitely be trash sometimes. I so, don't understand. I don't say all of them, but... Yeah, yeah please don't. Because th that's one thing that really annoys me. That, that some... A lot of girls mm -hmm. have this perception that if one's bad, they're all bad. Oh, no. And it just annoys me so much. Because then it's like... One bad guy will just... Ruin it for everybody. Tell me one thing about yourself that you don't tell anyone. Yeah. Actually, you know, I want to do this one. You can't do that. Yo, sorry, carry on. I'll ask you afterwards. What do you mean? That's your last question. <laughs> <laughs> All right, which one do you want to do? You give me a choice now. Cause... Yeah, let me give you a choice. You got two choices. <laughs> Why are you single and what are you looking for? 
<laughs> okay, so I'm single because I need to learn to love myself first. I need to get a balance in my own life so that when I do, like, have someone come into my life, like, I don't feel thrown off. I don't feel like I'm not ready for it. I need to be ready for someone to be in my life. I need to be able to trust them. I need to be able to love them as deeply as I love myself. I need to be happy and comfortable and just have that balance where we know where we're going and we build together. I want someone in my life that obviously I can build with, like we're going in the same direction forward. So I want to be happy. And that, that may sound a little bit selfish in, in a sense, but it's the main goal that like we have to both be happy and we both be an equal partnership. Why are you single? And what are you looking for? You know what, yeah? I have no words. I have no words. Because everything you said is how I feel. Everything. Honey, we high five you. Um, everything. Literally. High back me. <laughs> high back. That like, I'm single because I'm not ready to try and jump into something or be in a relationship with someone when I don't really know myself and love myself. Like, I have a lot of confidence issues. People would be very surprised that I've got confidence issues. And I just want to be ready. I want to feel like I've got stability in my life before I bring someone into it. Like someone asked me this the other day, why are you single? I was like, I don't want to bring no one to this train wreck. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I don't want to do it. But, um, but one thing they did say to me that I took on board is that sometimes bringing people into your life or letting people come into your life can change your mentality of the way you do things. It can make you feel a different way. Hi, my name's Joe. Nice to meet you. Hi, my name is Chanel. Nice to meet you. So weird to see you now, actually. What did you think I look like? So, I didn't know what to expect. <laughs> I had no idea what I was looking for. <laughs> I just hope he was at least good looking, which, high five. High five. Yes, Yay. Okay, I'm just kidding. Yeah, the makeup. So, what we're going to do? <laughs> Wait, can I at least keep the weave? <laughs> Can I at nah. least keep... So good thing I got hair and a hairline, isn't yes, it? I'm not gonna... <laughs> I got a hairline, it's good, it's good. I can take this out. So yeah, we can live with that. <laughs> Who's honest? You said you're sensitive, but when I hear sensitive, I don't hear sense I hear real. Mm. I feel like you're just real, you're yourself. You're not afraid to express how you feel. And I respect that because it just means that you're very open. Like it means that I can just talk to you and you wouldn't try and hold back because you're trying to be something you're not. Yeah. yeah. Like, you're funny. <laughs> you're very funny. I liked how real and open you was. For real. I'm He's cool. Yeah, you're cool, girl. <laughs> we'll talk. Can we talk for a minute? Uh, you know, you know, isn't it? <laughs> See, we cool. <laughs> yeah, we're going to add each other up on socials. What about I have to talk about that. Why are you, so, can... why are you that so cringe? In it, like, don't be so moist. No, we have to talk. Don't like, be so... <laughs> like, me. we've asked questions, yeah, but we don't know each other. Like, I got my knees out and everything. Well, wow, like, he got his knees out for me. I got my neck out and everything. Sad. So, <laughs> my business. For me, business, that. <laughs> You're good at that. It, it got worse from there because my, the dog actually found the condom, ate it. Ew. My mom was walking it, out came the condom, so what? she found out. Yeah, it became a whole thing. It was awful. This is, you should have said this as your grossest. Like, I mean, it kind of like. That's so gross. This is just a crazy story. It's, it just happened, it's so. crazy. And I forgot about it, to be honest. I put it out of my head. <laughs>